Hi, Sabrina here from Cakes by Sabrina, and this is part two of the Hawaiian themed cake. Now I'm going to show you how to make the fondant um, Hawaiian flour. And what we're going to be using for this project, and I'm going to bring the camera down so you guys can see the my work area here. Okay, I have a rolling pin. I have a peri knife. I have the cutters, the leaf color cutters that I got from Michael's, and these are what we're going to be using for the petal. I have a little paintbrush, and this paintbrush is actually really good. The bristles are very, very fine, and um, they don't come off when you're um, doing this because nobody wants to eat bristles. So make sure you get a nice, good paintbrush. Um, if you have to pay an extra couple cents, do so. Um, we're going to be using piping gel. I've got everything from here from Michaels, so if you're interested in where I buy the product, I buy it from Michaels. And fondant. I buy the big thing of fondant, which comes with two packages. It's about $20, but if you use your um, coupon, you can get it for 10 so I've already cut them up in these cubes right here, and we're going to keep this white because I'm going to paint the inside of it to make the colors. So pretty much what we're going to do is we're going to flatten this out. I'm going to show you how to make the smaller flowers, which is like this, and the larger one. And you are going to be needing some small glasses. I'm using shot glasses for this one, and it's and it holds them perfectly down while they're drying. So if you can find some shot glasses or small little glasses, it's a great thing to hold them in place. These really don't need anything to hold them. You just lay them down on their side, just like this, and they will dry. You just lay it right straight down. So let's get started. I've already gone ahead and cut my smaller petals out, so I'm going to show you how to do the larger petals, which is the same way as the smaller petals. I'm taking my rolling pin and I'm just rolling out the fondant. If your fondant is very, very moist and it's sticking to here, you can use a sugar powder and powder it down on your surface. I have this mat here, which I got from Michael's as well, and it helps everything not stick on there. I love this mat. It's always been helping me with fondant and everything like that. So if yours starts sticking, you can lay a little bit down. If it's really, really moist and the sugar powder is not working, put your fondant in the fridge for a few minutes to harden up and start over again. So I have everything laid out nice and flat now. Take the larger cookie cutter, which is leaf color, and you can buy these. There's a three piece. You get the bigger leaf, the middle one, and the smaller one. And we're using the small one and the medium sized one. So here I am using the medium sized one to make the larger flowers. And I'm just cutting away. And I'm taking the leaves out, which will be the petals. I have my paring knife here to pick it up just in case it sticks to the mat instead of lifting it up all the time. So what you're doing is you're just cutting it with your cutters and then you're going to take the access off, place it to the side because you're going to reuse that again. And you want to do the same thing with the smaller one. I'm going to show you how to do the bigger one first because it's easier to see. I have my brush with the piping gel and the petal. The skinnier part of the petal is going to be the stem area, and this part is going to be the larger area of the petal. So what you're going to do is just take the brush and glide it down the side of it right there. Now you're going to take another petal and place it the same way, but right on top of the other petal by a little bit. We're going to start forming a fan. So what we're going to do is we're going to just do the repeat, the same thing. We're taking the piping gel, going along the side here, taking another petal, place it right on top. The skinny part is always at the center. Then we're doing it again with the other one. We're using five petals 
So far I got four on there. So I'm dipping my piping gel, putting a little bit more. You don't want a big old clump of it, just make sure you lightly put it on there. And there's my fifth petal. My fifth petal, I'm going to put the last of the piping gel right at the very end here. And from this end, I'm going to fold it in just like so, right in the center, and take my other petal, the last one that has the piping gel, and put it right on top of that one. You're going to pinch the very, very end where the stem is at so you can close the inside of the petal so it doesn't open up. Then you want to slowly open up your petals and place them the way you want to, as you can see here. You'll take your shot glass and place it right in the center, having the petals fall down just a little bit and allow it to dry overnight. Once it's dried, then we can start doing the coloring, which I will show you how to do in the next step. So what we're going to be using here, we're going to do the little one. I'm going to place this side. I got five petals here. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to make the fan. You're going along the side here and placing the petal right on top of each other. There's two petals. Here's three. Place another one. There's four. And five. I'm going to add the last of the piping gel at the very, very end here. This is a little bit more trickier. You're going to try holding it into place and fold it. And then place the other one and fold that other one right on top of each other. Pinch the very end. And when you fold it, make sure you don't smash it all together. Just a tad bit of pinching. That's it. And then we're just going to open up the petal slowly. If they get stuck together, just slowly try separating them just a little bit. And there's the baby flower. Isn't that cute? I'm placing it to the side here to allow it to dry. And this will just dry up and then we're going to be adding the color to it. The color is very simple. I'm going to be using pink and yellow. I have this um, gel colored um, food coloring. And these I bought at Michael's. They're about two dollars. And I have bright yellow, lemon yellow, and pink. So I'm going to be using these colors. All you need is a little tiny tiny bit. I have two bowls here, and I'm going to place some water in there. So I have a little tiny bit of water in each one. All you need is a tad bit of water. You're looking at maybe take the shot glass and fill it up halfway or a quarter of the way and pour it in there. That's how much water you need. You're going to take a little bit of the yellow because this is a gel. It's very, uh, very um, good. If you're going to be using the other food coloring, just add about two to three drops. That's all you need. And I'm just going to bring this in here and mix it in there. There's the yellow. Now I'm going to take get the rest of this off here. Still got more on there. It's gel, so it's going to take a while to mix, so make sure you mix it really well. Now I'm going to take the pink and put in this one. And if you need more to make the color more darker or more lighter, put less. It depends on you. So here I am with the pink, and I'm mixing the pink in. There's my pink right here. And why I ask for water is because we're going to lightly brush the center. And you want it to make it look like the center is coming off. So, my petals are not dried, I don't think so. Maybe I'll find one that's somewhat dried.
here's one that's somewhat dried. This is the larger one. So I'm going to take my brush here and I'm going to dab a little bit of the pink on here. Make sure you get all the excess off. You want just to lightly brush the inside. So you're going right in the center and you're coming out just like so. And I'm just brushing it in the inside. Need more color? Grab a little bit. Don't wet it so much because what happens is it starts bleeding through and you don't want that. So you want to just lightly color it. That's it. I'm just brushing outwards. I'm going to allow that to dry. If I need to, I'll go with the second color in there, but there is the pink. Now for the yellow. I'm going to use the little one for the yellow. Ah, I almost dropped it in there. That would have been a doozy. So I have the yellow here and I'm doing the same thing. I dab it on the side, making sure I get all the excess off. And I'm going to go right in the center and brush out. There's the yellow. You allow this to dry and then you're going to decorate the cake with it. So, these are the main things that are going to be for the cake is the palm trees and the flowers. So, I'm going to get those out of the way, finish up mine, and you guys finish up yours, and we're going to start with the cake. 